Uh, so Deline, tell us how you got into DNA testing to begin. I started DNA testing as a way of enhancing my practice because of um, being, I think, just a bit curious as to how genes influences the way people respond. And as a dietitian for, at that stage, about, I think, is it about six, seven years, I was feeling that we might be missing something here because there was such different responses on the eating plans I've been giving patients that I was starting to to think that they might not they might be a better approach to try and individualize nutrition information. How do you find that the patient's response changes when your advice is based on a genetic test? I find there's definitely way more buy-in to the advice I give. I love showing a patient what is the struggles and the things that we pick up from the genes and that often is like you reading a crystal ball for them because they associate so much with what you're saying. And I think that gives people the confidence to actually stick to the advice you give them. So not to say that you couldn't do that without a test, but I do find that my patients that I use genetic testing for are about twice as successful as those that I don't. And to your message to dietitians who haven't yet attended training or looked at nutrigenomics in their practice? I definitely think that you should. I definitely think that it is a massive um, amount of information that you can incorporate in what you already know. That we are very uniquely spaced in the sense of that we've got the background training to use genetics really appropriately. And it's part of a puzzle. It's not the only thing. It's definitely part of a very big um, way of making sure that what you are telling people as lifestyle advice is actually as applicable as possible to them and that they believe it.